Okay, so I was just making this a little more complicated than I actually needed to. So I'm going to do a uh, list of type um, map equal to new uh, maps is equal to new array list map. There. That's what I needed to do. Um, dot get uh, dot get map list. That should be right. Um, actually, I'll call this lock list just to make sure. Uh, type map. String location and then map string location. Good, okay, that worked. Um, require list dot map job delay dot string org dot bucket dot location and it's just looking for Question, question. Um, I just do get list. Uh, get map list. Guess I just cast this as a list map. String location that no this list map question question to that because it is it doesn't know what types are in the map I guess um. Hmm, okay, so if I instead leave this as unknown, uh, yeah, I think it'd be better to leave the map type as unknown. Um, am I supposed to, am I supposed to actually do this? Apparently that works. Action <laughs> locks you to get player name. String name is equal to args zero. And uh, then I need to do map uh, string location. Um, equal to new hash map string location and we're going to do map uh, lock map dot uh, put name and lock and then we do lock list dot add lock map. Okay. So we're trying to get the current list, um, create a new location set and add it to the list. And now if it is unable to get the list here, then it's going to just create the new list. So it's creating lock list, new array list. Uh, let's see, so this is going to be lock list map question question. 
um, is it equal to new array. Well, that's already exists. So I would just need to create a new map in this thing. Um, Condition dot add. Okay, first I need to do lock map dot put um, <clears throat> name and location, and then I can add lock map to the entry. Okay, that is all functional now. <laughs> Now we can get back to this part. If it wasn't obvious by the in this video, I have never actually tried to do this particular thing before. Um, I'm literally improvising slash experimenting on video, which is kind of fun and it's going to need some lots of editing. <laughs> but you can kind of see the process that I go through when I'm working on something. Um, I feel like this is kind of a good thing to have when you're working with something like this because, like, I wish I had this kind of a thing so, like, I kind of knew how to go about error checking and stuff and figuring out things when I was doing this sort of thing, but I didn't really have that. Anyway, um, so location, um, let's see, so it's going to be list type map question comma question uh lock list is equal to uh locations dot get dot get um get map list okay get map list uh player dot Get unique ID dot to string. Okay. <clears throat> and then uh, for int i equals zero, i is less than lock list dot size i plus plus. If, um, Uh, lock if um, lock okay um, map uh, string location lock map is equal to uh, lock list dot get i I guess I had to keep this as question, question. Um, and then if lock map dot contains key uh, name. Oh, okay. Um uh, arg zero, I guess. <laughs> um then we want to do location lock is equal to cache it as a location and I'm going to do lock map dot get args zero. And then <coughs> player dot teleport to lock. And then player dot send message chat color dot I'll go with gold plus teleporting to home uh, plus chat color dot red I guess plus args zero and return true if it gets through the whole for loop 
then change all of this so that it is in dark red plus home Uh, chat color dot red plus args zero plus chat color dot dark red plus not found. All right. Um, and then we return true. Um, let's see, what am I missing? Okay, if instance of player, if args length is equal to one, else, um, copy this and just change this so it says home. Okay, um, Apparently, I'm still missing a return statement. What is this one going to do? If, oh, uh, else uh, sender dot send message chat color dot red plus Um, that is not a valid option. Ah. Yeah, return true. There. That should resolve that. Okay, that's good. Now I need to actually do the other stuff like the permissions and such. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So first, we're going to add in set home. Description, description, uh, set a home location, usage, slash set home, and then home, uh, description, teleport to a home, usage, slash home. And then, let's see, so it is tutorial plugin dot home description allows using slash set home and slash home default. So default is true, so that defaults can use it. Plugin dot home. Make that true. And now I need to go to here and enable this. So this dot get get command set home dot set executor is going to be new home command uh, passing locations. And this dot get command home dot set executor be new home command locations. Okay, um, so now we're gonna actually test this and see if it works. Uh, what's been added? There's a chance it will not. Um, I don't know if it will, because there's a chance that the location data is going to get totally screwed up. If it does, then I can, um, create, um, I can have to modify it a little bit, I guess. Um, but we'll get this working, uh, eventually. Okay. Uh, apparently I died. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, uh... 
Okay. Um, this is being very slow. Ah. Uh, I'm about to time out. I know it. Probably because I'm recording, it's going a little slower. All right. Creative. Now, if I do slash set home, I just call it home. Uh, hmm. That did not return anything to me. Hmm. It did. It did put it in though. Um. Hmm. Um. Because I forgot to probably to put a print statement. Um. Yeah, I I don't have okay. Uh, player dot send message chat color dot green plus home set. And I'll just copy this down to here as well. Build this, and I will delete that just when I reload it I want to make sure that it's empty so that I can set a home and try to go to it to see if it actually works I'm hopeful that it does because that would be cool that this works the first time I code it <laughs> oops that is the config why enabled is f yeah I'll just leave that Okay, so that is empty. Now, if I set home, home, home is set, and I go home, home. Ah, that actually works. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I need to get away to the list homes eventually, but I can set a home there, and if I go over to here and do set home pi, I'll come over to here, and go slash home pi go to here slash home home so that's one way you can use files for something like that um actually didn't think that was going to work <laughs> i'm glad i did though that's kind of cool that that worked the first time i'm actually going to implement that into my main plugin that's actually very useful um a bunch of new ways you can do slash homes and get a list of your homes um it was like get the if a little um, hmm <laughs> I'll have to get a map list and then figure out how I'm going to get the key to there's a way I know how to do that actually um but um I suppose I could complete this whole function um in this episode you know I'll do that um. You're gonna see some uh, weird code of mine in a moment while I get this this uh, thing. Um, <laughs> if I have Eclipse on this computer anyway, oh, uh, I don't have Eclipse. I don't think. Um, let me let me see if I do. If not, I'll pause the video to download Eclipse. Um, uh, Eclipse. Yeah, I don't have Eclipse. Okay, so I'm gonna go get that real quick. Alright, I decided while that's downloading, I'm going to um, move on here. So, uh, let's put that here. And so, else if thing, I'm just getting this fixed. So, else if command dot get name dot equals ignore case homes so we can get a list of the homes um so I know I'm going to need to create an, a list of um let's see String array, uh, or I could just use an array list. That'd be really easier. Array list of type string 
uh, homes is equal to new array list string. And I need to get that function, but um, I gotta wait for Eclipse to finish. <laughs> Because the method that does this is um, in a product I have on Eclipse that I actually coded in a lab, or not a lab, in a computer science product from my one of my courses. Uh, I just need that method so that I can get the keys. It's the only way I know of to get the keys. Um, from a map. Um, we actually learned about hash maps for all of five minutes in one of my classes this past semester. And you're just like, hash maps, they're a cool thing, you can use them next semester when you learn about them. Like, great! These are like dictionaries from Python. <laughs> and that was pretty much all we knew. And why isn't it asking me to install it? Uh... <laughs> There should be a prompt asking me if I want to w install a thing. Uh, hmm, this is over there. <laughs> no, it isn't. Uh, uh, the downloader didn't save either. <laughs> oh my god. Why? Is there a way to look at my downloads? Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, ah, uh, downloads. Please actually run. I need to install you. <laughs> to use you. Come on. I can't unplug my hard drive because that's where my recordings are saving and where this product is on. But, the, ugh. Fine. <laughs> Let me see if I can just get to the source code since Eclipse doesn't want to install. <laughs> um, let's see. Eclipse Workspace. I believe it was not, not Lab 13. It was uh, PA4. Five, here we go. Uh, SRC net spriting. Come on. PA5. It's probably trying to launch the Eclipse installer. That's why it's all of a sudden being so incredibly laggy. Oh, I even zipped them up. Um. Yeah, so it's gonna be this one. So I'm gonna edit this with Notepad plus plus. This is the most unconventional way of editing a Java document. <laughs> but this isn't a encoded class. It is an unencoded, de decompiled Java dot Java file. So um, map dot size int count equals zero for map dot entry character integer e map dot entry set char key equals char e to get key count plus plus uh okay um <coughs> map dot size well i suppose i could this is going to be changed a little bit but this is what i'm going to use um Okay, so we've created an array list of homes. Let me just paste this in. There we go. Um, I just need to adjust this a little bit. Uh, okay. Um, let's, let's see. Um, so I need to first go... Uh, for um uh, array list containing map question comma question um lock map is equal to 
Uh, or actually, this is lock list, not lock map. Lock list is equal to. This. Mm, yeah, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I haven't checked if the... I'll do that in a little, little bit. Um, actually, I need to do that now. Um, if sender is instance of player, then we will do all this stuff. Come on. Oh my god, it's frozen. <sighs> Great! IntelliJ just stopped responding. Let me just go to my task manager real quick. I think Eclipse is trying to install or something or load up the installer in the background and it's using up a lot of memory. So I want to stop that from happening. Oh great, task manager is not responding. <laughs> Fantastic! You, st you stink. Ah, oh, crap, what did I just do? <laughs> okay, uh, do, 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 there. Uh, <laughs> sender intensive player is not always false. That's dumb. <laughs> Unless I put this else if on the wrong. Oh. I did. Uh, what? Okay, let me undo all of this then. <laughs> Putting this in the wrong place. Yeah. Uh, okay, do that. Um, it is supposed to be off of this one. <laughs> Else. If condition open entry, uh, well, that is wrong. That is not right at all. Uh, whoop! Uh, what did I just do? Okay. Um, do word else here, and then do else if open bracket and close bracket there. Enter and. If condition um, command dot get name dot equals ignore case homes. Okay, now I can put that stuff in. Um, if sender instance of player, then I can do all the stuff that I want to do here. Um, I'll just copy this real quick, so I can just do the else, else, do that. Okay, so now I need to do array list, string, uh, homes to new array list of string, okay. And then I was, let's see, then I had array I guess I guess it was um, list uh, of map question question lock list is equal to uh, this. So it's good to use the UUID of the player instead of their name or display name because that can change. Uh, is equal to player sender. Okay. No, I just need to make sure I spell player correctly. There we go. Uh, so now we have our location list, and now I'm going to use that. Uh, oh, there's the Eclipse installer. <laughs> what do you know? Uh, I'm gonna end. Uh, those, because I don't need them. Uh, okay. Um, so let me go back to the class here. Um, uh, 
Easy count is equal to key. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, yeah, I suppose I could just use a string array instead of. Um, yeah, that probably would be, would be better for what I'm trying to do. So string array and equals new. Actually, it's easier to use an array list. And I'll paste this in here. Uh, and instead of that, or, hmm. Ah, actually, a better idea. Um, I'm going to have to recopy the other thing in a second, but get rid of this from here and paste this in here instead. Now I can do the string array. Uh, string array is equal to. String of lock list dot size is the limit. Okay, and now I can copy the for loop from the count. And this should okay. Now map is coming from. Let me just the map is the hash map. Okay, so for int i is equal to zero, i is less than lock list dot size i plus plus and I gotta close this whole for loop inside of here so I'm going to do map question question lock map is equal to uh, lock list dot get i and then we do int count zero to zero and then we do lock map uh, I'm going to just make this a question question. Um, in convertible types, cannot cast capture question mark to char. Okay. Uh, yeah, because this is supposed to be a string. So, should we string key and cast this as a string? That's better. Um, and then this would be. Homes at count is equal to key. And now that that will hopefully have finished, I can concatenate the string. Um, or, well, um, let's see. Let me just do like a uh, string homes string is equal to. Arrays dot two uh two string let's import the arrays dot two string homes and then I can do player dot send message we'll do chat color dot let's go with uh green plus homes and then player dot send message and let's do home string okay that was complicated <laughs> And I need to add in a return true here. And hopefully this works properly. I need to just need to add in the command. Um, go ahead and copy this. And be homes. And then plug in that YML. Homes. Description. Lists your set homes 
usage slash homes and then I'll add tutorial plugin dot homes the description allows using slash homes um Oh, actually, hold on. I already have the permission uh, done. Um, slash set home, home, and homes. Okay. Here we go. And the plugin command is registered. <coughs> so, just go ahead and build this. And then I'm going to have to reload because I updated a bunch of things. Um, okay. So we reload. And now if, uh, when it comes back on, I should be able to just type in homes. Pi and null. Um, <laughs> that's uh, weird. Um, oh, so I don't like the way that displays. I'm going to change that. Um, but that also did not work correctly. Um, let's see. Count is zero. Um, the location list, there should be uh two in it um then for each entry in the map so there should only be one uh hmm i'm going to try making this a little bit different instead of Adding it to an array list, which is I don't think it's something I need to do. Um, I don't need the count anymore. Then um, I'll do string key. And for this, I'll just do string homes string is equal to that and. Just do home string plus equal key plus a space. Hopefully that works a little bit better. And hopefully the, it looks a little bit better. Oh, uh... I forgot. There was one more thing I want to do. Um, let's just do if i is not equal to lock uh, lock list dot size, then add this. So we're gonna add a comma and a space. Uh, else. Um, Home string plus equal uh, key. Okay, it was just a little thing that I forgot to do. Condition i not equal to lock list dot size is always true. Oh, whoops. The we size minus one. Let me do that again. All right, this is going to be a long, long video. I might break this one up into separate parts um, just because it's so long. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to go ahead and reload. And homes. Home pie.
That's better. So now if I do slash home home and teleports me here. Now if I overwrite home, does it uh, uh if I do set home home homes oh no <laughs> so now it could just be oh oh brother <laughs> i should add in a check so that if the name already exists uh it doesn't add it to the list <laughs> that's a little bit glitchy um So I'm going to do that because we don't want that to happen. But first, I'm going to add in the Dell Homes um, entry. Uh, I just need to see um, the way it... Oh, come on. Oh, my God. All of a sudden, my mouse is getting totally glitchy. <laughs> okay, testing servers. We're on 1.13 plugins. We're working with tutorial. Oh, this is not. We're in the tutorial thing here. This one. Yep, plugins. Here we are. Go ahead and look at the locations of my mail file. I think that. Let's see. Um. Yeah. So if I delete the home, I go through if contains key home, then I guess I would pop that one out. Um, all right, that shouldn't be too hard then. Um, just go ahead and do that here. Um, Else, if command dot get name dot equals ignore case del home. This is basically like the word from essentials. <laughs> I don't know if that's open sourced or not, but I'm coding this myself, so technically it's fine. <laughs> um, so I'm going to check. If it's an instance of a player, so if sender instance of player do stuff um, else, only players can do that. Yeah, okay. Um, do player player is equal to uh, player sender. And we will do uh, li um, yeah. list of type map of question, question, uh, location list is equal to um, locations dot get map dot get dot get map list uh player dot get unique id dot to string now for int i is equal to zero i plus i is less than lock list dot size i plus plus um let's do uh map question comma question is let's see um if lock list dot get um i dot contains key args zero then <coughs> um 
lock list dot uh, remove i. And then get to the end of the list, and we're going to do location locations dot get dot set player dot get unique ID dot to string and lock list and then location locations dot save. And then player does send player dot send message in chat color dot green plus home deleted. All right, uh, and uh, of course. Turn true. Now I need to go back up to the top here so I can put in that chest or that check. Um, so it's not going to go here if it's empty. Otherwise, I'm going to get the list and um, <coughs> for int i is equal to zero i is less than lock list dot size i plus plus if uh, lock list dot get i dot contains key name then player dot send message chat color dot dark red plus you already have a home with that name period and return true immediately right there we return um okay now I just need to add in the tell home command to here and to my plugin YML tell home tell home description delete a home usage Dell home. All right, now we'll build this. I should build you Dell home home and get rid of the home called home. And then I will end the video. So let me just time set J. When it reloads, Here we go back to that. Okay, so Dell Home Home. That is not a valid option. What? Oh, brother, I put this in the wrong place. <laughs> Didn't I? Oh, my goodness. Uh, let's see. Only players may execute that commit. Oh no! Ah, oh, I did it again. <laughs> okay, home. Okay, so I just need to copy uh, all of this and copy that, and then put it all here instead <laughs> it is in the wrong place that should should work now 
That's one of the reasons why I probably should have actually put all these commands into separate classes to organize it better. But I wanted to put them all in one class, which was not necessarily smart. But it is what it is, so. Home deleted. And now if I do homes, I just have pi. And if I try to go home, 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 not found. Oh, there's a missing space. Uh, reporting to home. Uh, build that. All right. My color scheme for this is totally, totally pathetic and totally bad, and I'm gonna fix that and make it a little more consistent. With, I'll make I'm playing in my actual book, and I'll make it a little more consistent. But, um. Doesn't really, it's not too important, I don't think, for the purposes. This, you can choose whatever colors you want for any of this if you follow along with this. Um, but yeah. Um, okay, so now I can do slash home pi, teleporting to home pi. And if I go set home chickens, home is set. And if I can go homes, home. Chickens. <laughs> Del home chickens. Del home pie. Homes. None. That's cool that that actually worked. Like basically my first try. <laughs> Who'd have thought? I hope you all enjoyed this part of the video. This was an interesting thing to code, and I'm sure this. It's pretty useful for learning how to work with the files, actually, I think, because this is actually a more complicated way of working with the files, because you're storing a map, you're storing a hash map inside of a, a array list inside of a file. <laughs> so, I think that's pretty good. Um... In the next episode, we'll be getting on to um, events, so look forward to that. I'm going to take a break from coding um, and recording, because I've been recording for and coding for several hours now, and it's been a while, so yeah. Hope you all enjoyed, um, and I'll see you all later. Actually, I almost forgot to test one more thing, so if I set home, home, home is set, and homes, I have that. And if I try to do set home, home, you already have a home with that name. And homes, good. It doesn't overwrite it. Home, home, Dell home, home. I probably shouldn't take the color scheme directly from Essentials for that, but I did. <laughs> anyway. I hope you all enjoyed, um, we're going to do this part, and we'll be getting into events, as I said, we're going to be getting into events in the next episode, and the episode after that, we'll be getting into the task scheduler, um, actually, I'm going to flip that around because the task scheduler is pretty simple, uh, compared to, um, events, events can be confusing and complicated, um, there's a lot of different kinds of events you can use too, and the way you have to do certain things with some of the events is a little confusing. Um, and I think I have an idea for a plugin that we'll develop after we learn events. So my Padlocks plugin is a good way to practice with events because you can learn how to like make chests private and stuff. So we'll be doing probably something like that. Um, in the video. Maybe not that exactly, but something along the lines of initiating tasks, initiating, ex start, um, initializing listeners to wait for an event to happen from a specific player kind of thing, or waiting for an event to happen, or if, like, an event happens in a certain way to not allow something to happen, like, and we'll be getting to a whole bunch of stuff like that. And anyway, I hope you guys are excited for that. And um, I'm taking, as I said, I'm taking a break because I've done a lot of coding in the past few hours. And I want a break and I want lunch because it is 1247. I started around 9 something or 10 something or whatever. So, anyway, I'll see you guys soon.